William, come here. William to see my YouTube. Augustine. You pay? Yeah, you pay for your one day dollars. Amigo. What? I put in YouTube now. For what? This video. <laughs> we see you on YouTube everything.
to the middle class in this country. And I think it's going to have a big effect on other states as well. The, the, you know, this is the eye of the storm for the fight of the country when it comes to the middle class in this country, no doubt about it. Let's take a look at the six Republican state senators who are trying to hold on out there. Hold on to their seats. And the six Democrats who probably feel good about their chance in two of those six races. Uh, two others, they seem to have a good chance. Two are safe. So how do you how do you call it right now, this time of night, early in the evening, before we get the returns in? Well, I'll tell you, Chris, the uh, intangible here is the turnout. I mean, there's been no question about it that it's at presidential levels in some of these districts. Enthusiasm is high. I just talked to John Erbenbach, who was the state senator Democrat here from Wisconsin. He says, you know, we got the ground game. They got the money. So nobody knows how to read this heavy turnout at presidential levels. And so on one hand, they're really excited about that, but they're not really sure what that means. Uh, the crown jewel race to watch is in suburban Milwaukee. Hey, man, you just hold it like this. Huh? Hold it like this and just record like this. I'll extend it. Just do it like this, right? Just like this. Don't block the pen. Yeah, just. Uh, Sarah or, or, or Sharon Angle, if we could go back to those days in Nevada. I mean, Alberta Darling says, Yeah. I mean, she gets out there and says, This is the whole thing I'm going to show there. You've got almost a billion dollars in education. And you know, Chris, Wisconsin's got everything. They cut corporate taxes, unemployment, in fact, has gone up a little bit under Scott Walker. They cut the personal income taxes at the top levels that uh, Governor Doyle used to have. They brought that back. It hasn't done anything. They cut the investment, and it's hooked a lot of people. And people are wild up here. And I think it's going to be a good night for the Democrats. I think it's going to be as good as it's possible before. Thank you.